Hello everyone. Today, we're going to do a brief lesson on building up lots and lots of Adepto energy in order to buy fun... <clears throat> Hello everyone. Today, we're going to do a quick housing guide on how to get lots of Adepto energy. And so... <clears throat> Hello everyone. Today, we're going to do a brief lesson on building lots of Adepto energy in order to buy wonderful things such as resin, or Heroes Wid, and Mora, and even Artifact EXP if you want. So, in order to do so, we need tons of coins. And to get tons of coins, you need to invest on housing. And investing on housing is actually a bit of a pain. I've been working on it for a little while now. And my current Adepto energy is over 9,000! It took me a little bit of effort because um, I spent some time studying this. And um, I feel that one of the best ways to go about doing this is to build up both trust and Adepto energy at the same time. So it took a little doing because you need to get your Adepto energy as high as you can in order to generate as much coins as you can. Pretty simple. But the problem is, is that there's a bit of a bottleneck, and that is from trust. You see, you need trust, and you need trust very often. Once you get to level 5 trust, you'll get a new exterior area, and exterior areas are a bit of a pain. See, the problem with exterior area is that, well, currently, this is the only one area we have until we get to rank 5. And... Right now, the exter external areas are all filled. Filled to the brim. I can't build anything. As you can see, on the top right, you see this load. It's on red. And when it's red, you can't build anything anymore. And it's really annoying. And it stops you from growing. So, one of the methods that is developed is to go ahead and get some furnishings that are indoor. And the ones that you can stack easily is this pine folding thing. So therefore, you need to farm a lot of these pine wood. You need to get a lot of these um, fabric and red dye. Now, here's what I've been doing the last couple of days. In fact, uh, I'll just do it now. So first, I go to the Realm Depot and I make sure that the recipes that I buy are currently indoor ones. Because, like you saw earlier, outdoor stuff doesn't fit anymore. And you want to build indoors as much as you can. So for the time being, until you unlock the new area, keep investing on interior furnitures. And once you're done with that, with any extra coins that you have, you go ahead and create furnishing and, and just buy as much of these um, indoor furnishings as you can. But try to work on new ones. Right, for example, I just bought a sofa. I put it into my list of recipes. Then, I produce it. Oh, uses pine, how wonderful. Alright, pine I have a lot of because, well, as you saw with um, my pine farming technique, it's uh, very easily spammable. Now I'm going to just go ahead and use this. I honestly could spam sofa as well, but I think it's probably better to do this. Yeah, probably better to do this, because carrots are easier to get. And the pine folding screens are very uh, easy to fit in a room. Now I'll use all these Adepto vials or Adepto potions. You get them from leveling up your rank, and you also get them from the shop each day for 10 coins a piece. I always invest 50 because that's the limit that you can get um, per day. I always invest 50 or 5 each day on these uh, speed up potions so that I can keep building things. And as you can see, I don't have any more coins left. So I use whatever coins I have for new furniture, uh, pro, um, new furniture designs. And once I get these new furniture designs, I try to build as much as I can indoor. All right, for the time being, let's go and invest on these. Oh yeah, one of, one of these cabinets are done, but I will put it in another room later. All right, for now, let's go and drop off these 
wonderful screens that I've just built. This is currently my Bitcoin farming room. And through this room, I try to generate as much energy as I can without overloading my um, outsides. I mean, this isn't exactly stuff that, you know, that is completely new. It's just that currently there are still a lot of people who haven't gotten into housing. And you know what? Having a good tip from someone who's actually gone for pretty far in it could be helpful. For the time being, I try to conserve as much space by using this one room to do just this purpose. Meanwhile, my other rooms, I will probably design them a little more carefully. Like, for example, this one is going to be my uh, reading room or something. I may make a set for it later. But for the time being, I'm just going to put stuff here and there. And then leave. Everything right now I build are all for interior furnishings. Yep, even pets I will probably put indoor later. For now I have a couple outside. It's not a big deal. Pets are always good to have and they don't seem to take up that much space but you can only have a certain limit outside for some reason. I can only get two. It could just be because I don't have enough building room but I could only get two. So for the time being, you want to get new areas as soon as you can. Oh, I almost got 10,000. See, if I get 10,000, I get another upgrade. So in about 16 hours, I can go ahead and get more um, upgrades to that. Now let's go and talk about the um, gathering of materials needed, especially for those pine screens that you saw earlier. See, one of the most important thing I should mention is, is that each of these rooms, like a section of a room, have different load amounts. Like for example, that room, my main, my main hall, my kitchen, they all have separate loads. So, here, my bedroom has green load. Which means I can put more stuff in it, despite the fact that there's a lot of stuff in it. I think it's because the room uh, size is rather big. And this one is kind of small. It's I, what I use for my kitchen. And then there's that room that we put in our Bitcoin mining thing. It still hasn't filled up yet, so I'll just keep working on it until it fills up. And then, currently, upstairs is another section. See, there's actually a lot you can do with this game, and that's... Uh, in this house, you can get build up a lot of energy as long as you keep working on interior furnishing. Don't build anything out outdoors for a while. You want to keep um, building interiors until you have rank 5 at the very least. Currently, you can't go into any of the um, upper floor rooms, but that's alright. You, you have plenty of space up here as it is. And it's not like you're going to have all these new recipes. Generally, you want to try to... Um, well, for the sake of looking good, you want to just stash things, like, in here for the moment. And it's not like you have enough coins to get new furniture. So it'll take a little bit of working, it'll take a little bit of doing. But right now, this is probably the fastest way to go about building up housing. And once you finish getting your housing to, uh, what was it again, like, 20 or 30,000? 20 or 30,000, um, whatchamacallit, Adepto Energy, let's see. How much do you need, my friend? Yeah, once you get to 20,000, which doesn't seem so hard now. Before, when I first started building, doing housing, these all look very daunting. But, um, as I've come to realize, it's actually very easy. Once you know what to do, you can easily get to 20,000, and maybe you don't even have to do housing anymore. So... It's one thing to keep in mind, but if you want, you know, to design your housing just for the sake of, you know, designing your house, 
I still say building to 20,000 as soon as you can is probably the best way to go about doing it. Otherwise, you're going to get bottlenecked eh, because of not being able to get new recipes, not having enough coins. So right now, I think just investing all your coins in Adepto Potions and Furnitures is the best way to go about doing it until you get, well, the maximum amount of Realm Currency accu accumulation rate. Which I think 20,000 isn't really that hard to shoot for. Like I said, I've only, I actually even started two days late. And um, this is like less than a week since this game, has, uh, since the new patch has came out. So... If I were to do this for another week, I'll easily break 20,000. In fact, I probably can easily break 20,000, like... Yeah, maybe like less than a week, like four or five days, maybe even. Especially with the Adepto potions and everything. It, it probably will not be that difficult with all this um, technique now that I wield. Especially if I were to reach rank 5. And another thing you want to take, cons take into consideration is to... Um, get these quests done. Of course, I can't get rank 5's quest done, so for the moment I'm also kind of bottlenecked here as well. But once you um, get these things done and have more furnitures, more furnitures means more energy. So just keep this in mind and keep working on interior furnitures for the moment because you can't build anything outside for now. So Wuong Hill, in my opinion, is probably the best place for Pine. Because Dragon Spine, we have to deal with the cold. And not to mention, even from the waypoint, you would have to travel down the path before you could find the uh, before you could find the pine trees. Whereas here, as soon as you enter Wu Wang Hill, hey look, there's a there's a tree here. There's a tree there. They're all pine wood. Look at me. I'm pine wood. Hey, look look over here, I'm pine. Even though I, you know, like these. I was always thinking, you know, like Dragon's Pine would be places with pine wood. Because, you know, usually the Alpines are the places that has it, but for some for some reason, Wuong Hill also has pine wood. And it's just one after another after another of these pine wood trees. It's ridiculous. So. That means it's very easy to farm these pine screen things, and as a result, very easy to raise uh, Adeptus power level. When I first started doing the housing thing, I was kind of overwhelmed. I didn't really like it, because I thought that everything was gated here and there. But as it turns out, it's actually a very manageable, especially once you know where the, all the best woods are. So for me here, and everything being pine has been very helpful. Although I shouldn't really be climbing over here, I should be really going after the other forest down there. Yeah, yeah, pine... Mondstadt has those trees, but... I mean, look, look, look how many trees here, here there are. Like, Mondstadt, you'll be going to those ten trees nearby. I know that Mondstadt does have um, those fountain trees. Those little tiny trees that they have that grow in town is also pine. But I mean, look at this shit. This is pine here everywhere. It's like you just walk two steps, there's another pine. In Mondstadt, you're going to run out of places to get pine. But here, there's pines for days. <laughs> you, 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 There's pines for days, man. You won't run out anytime soon. In fact... By the time you finish digging through the uh, pines for this place, and then you turn back, the pines if back in Wuong Hill would have respawned, and you can do it all over again! You could be farming pines for the rest of your life if you want! Pines for days! For days! Forever! And that is why Hu Tao lives here. That is why this is Hu Tao's place. That is why I should be using Hu Tao to chop these trees instead of Lazoria. Good eye. Yeah, that's right. I've got a good eye. See, this is what this is what Hu Tao should be doing with my one thousand dollar, with my one thousand um, dollar staff of homeless. I use that to chop trees <laughs> because I've got pines for days, and that is why Hu Tao likes this place. 
not because of ghosts. It's because there's no such things as ghosts. He must be crazy. No, no, you're here because you want pine. GG, so he pretends that there are ghosts around the area to scare people away. So that they won't be here to 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 um, chop pine. No, you know what she does? She, she spread lies! Telling them that it's in Dragon's Pine or in uh, Mondstadt so that she can have all the pine here for herself. That is the evil. That is Hu Tao. And if there are people who, who came here anyway like this, she'll murder them all. Because this is Hu Tao country. This is where Hu Tao lives. <laughs> See that? Yeah, that, that, that horrifying scream of death. That is, that is what Hu Tao does because Hu Tao's evil. Hu Tao has no soul. As she continues to chop these trees soullessly. Because you know what? This place has pine for days. And if you're here to chop tree, you'll be here for years. I honestly don't know when I'm gonna run out of pine. It's like every two fucking steps was a pine tree. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Why is there so many pine trees? I have so much pine trees! Yes, Hu Tao is indeed Bitcoin mining. Do you remember that picture I posted of Hu Tao um, doing tax fraud with her hands on the uh, on the laptop? Yeah, that's, that's what Hu Tao's doing. She's, she's um, Bitcoin mining and committing tax fraud. Because, you know, that's Hu Tao. She's so evil with her hands. Oh, 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 I'm safe. Yahoo! Oh, but I need to switch to the appropriate language for that kind of stuff. There, I've done it. Why is she not making it? <laughs> uh, come on. quiet today. Yeah, I don't know why she's so quiet today. Oh, well. I was kind of hoping to hear her. Uh, uh. Well, there's no violet grass today, either. There it is. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, okay, now that I got that sound out of my system, let's chop that tree again. Oh, hey, guess what? The pine's back! Because I've got pines for days! Guess what? I've got pines again! Because this fucking place is better than that of Mondstadt. Because Mondstadt only has, like, well, whatever they have in town. But here... There's no restraint. You know why? Because this place is a forest. <laughs> There's pines for days. There's literally pines inside of my pines. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. But it's where I'm going to get my pines. Now I will go back to Bitcoin mining because I have so many pines. Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, I'm like a moving back and forth doing this pine it's already making me tired Ugh, if I really want like thousands of pines I seriously could just do this all day but I'm not a robot I can't do this shit all day I'm getting bored just from doing so I think after the next few, I will stop because I'm getting tired. 
What I need to find is a good place to get the uh, cheap wood. I know where to get the all the other woods, but the cheap ones with the uh, sunsettas on them are a little harder to get. But they're a little rare. And by a little, I mean a lot. Uh, very, very, very much so. Hey, what the fuck? What the fuck is up with this tree? This tree's fake. Tau chop wood. My one thousand dollar staff of homeless. Pines for days. Pines for days. Never enough pines. Okay, this is the last tree. I'm sick and tired of this shit now. Let's go back to my base and see what we got. Actually, I can check just from here. That's fear. Well, hey guys, I just got 247. Oh, man. Each of those uh, pine, pine screen things are like 12? Or was it 14 or some shit like that? But I mean, like, I was just here for, like, what, five minutes, ten minutes, and I got 200? I, I say this is a good spot. Yeah, I, I say that's a good spot. Alright, this is, uh, you gotta wait ten hours. But yeah, you need twelve. Twelve. Eee! What I need is more red dyes, but luckily for me, I have carrots. And you know what? I don't know if other people know this, but I mean, like, you can switch your uh, ingredients that you use. It doesn't have to be sunsettas. And carrots are easier to farm than uh, sunsettas. Carrots, you can have expeditions to do it, or you could crack open chests to do it. There's even a farm route for carrots. But, um, sunsettas are a little... I mean, sunsettas are not exactly uncommon, but... They're... They're not as easily automated, shall we say. Not to mention, Chef Mao also sells the uh, carrots in uh, the Wan Min restaurant. In fact, I should go check right now to see if he's selling any. Let's see if Chef Chairman Mao is selling me some carrots. I mean, I can run expeditions for carrots as well, so it's like, and I, I probably won't even need to go out of my way to farm uh, for carrots, because, hey, guess what, the carrots are going to be there every day, because I'm running expeditions for them. There's literally one expedition for each area, so there's ones for the year, and then there's one for um, Mondstadt, so you can always be expected to get around like 10 carrots from your NPCs farming that for you. Oh, hey, guess what? Now I have 10 more carrots. That's 10 dies. Each of those screens are only like, what? Three dies? So, you know. Kind of hard to argue, I think. The bamboo shoot's only 60. I know a good place to get plenty of those, so there's no need. I don't remember what other uses Sunsetas have, though, so... It's just that I don't want to rely on Sunsetas when I can just be like this each day. 8 to 12 from sending Bennett over, you know? Or sending uh, Chong Yun over, you know? It's like so easy to get, get 12, 12, and then the, the 10. Yahoo! From Chef Chairman Mao. Chef Chairman, Chairman Chef Mao will just sell me more. It's like, I, there's no need for me to do any actual farming for them. Whereas the Sunsetas, 
they would be good too, but I don't know a good place that gives me a lot of sensetta trees because I do need those Chihua wood, but uh, the Chihua woods are very uncommon. I haven't figured out a good place to get them, which is unfortunate. Unless you guys know a good place, do you see a forest full of those sensetta trees? Because usually they like mix in with other trees, so they're a lot harder to um, to get mats for. And that's what I think. I don't know. Unless you guys can prove me wrong. Up here, we get those sand bearer wood. Where Malphite's sitting around, I get sand bearer wood. Which I think I will get a couple of. Because I think I don't have many of those. I know there's no place that are full sunsettas, but there should at least be a place that have um, a large number of them, right? Like mix in with other trees. I just don't know where they are. <coughs> well, let's go fight this uh, Malphite real quick. Oh shit, you're dead already? God damn, dude. <coughs> oh, the Thunder Cube is a good place? Oh, okay, let me just go to the Wind Cube real quick. Let me deal with Wind Cube real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's this? What's this? That's fear. What about the apple tree? What's this? Oh! It looks like apple is also Chihua! <coughs> so if it grows fruits, chances are it's a Chihua stuff. I could have sworn that there's an apple tree that that um, there are two foxes under, but I can't find them. Oh wait, there is. Also, I'm gonna beat small animals to death because I can. I did that because I can. Chihua wood. Well, that's two Chihua wood right there. Very good. Alright, let's go back to the cube. them and their family just because I can. <laughs> Hu Tao is so evil, she swapped away just so that Mona could get hit instead. I wish I can kill him like this, but I can't. So, Kimochi! Cause I'm crazy, Hu Tao!
You die now. I see. Alright, so, let's see. The Thunder Cube is right here. The teleport near the Thunder Cube is... Uh... Teleport next left to the Thunder Cube. So it's either this... Oh, wait, look! There's a Chihua tree here! Chihua, right here! Literally right out the goddamn fucking teleporter. Oh yeah, get some. Chihuahua. No. Look, there's another Chihuahua right here. Oh yeah, Chihuahua. Oh, get, get, get the butterfly. Yeah, 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 give me that Chihua stuff. Oh, yeah. Holy Chihua. And there's another Chihua over here. Oh, shit. Okay, now I know where to go for Chihua. I come here to Thunderdome. Come here to Thunderdome to get my Chihua fix. Look at that. There's another Chihua over there. Oh, yeah. Give me that Chihua. Hello, Venti. You see this? This place is where you get the Chihua wood. Uh oh, there's no more Chihua over there. Let me see. But that's not too bad. There's like four Chihua trees just from uh, just from that waypoint. And apparently, this isn't even the right place. I just saw... No, I, I, I might have missed. Okay, I go to where the hilly trees are. Right, there's a... There's another one there. What I'm doing? I, I'm just getting Chihua wood. No problem, Grace. Yahoo! See if there's any more Chihua stuff in their base. Ah, yes, as a matter of fact, there is. If I go through this route, I will get Chihua stuff. Though I don't intend to actually um, mass produce Chihua stuff because it's a bit of a pain. It's not like I can, anymore. it's not that easy. But, if I ever need Chihua again, <laughs> this is how I'll do it. Yahoo! Oh, another Chihua. That Hu Tao's gonna die? Uh uh, I don't think not. Uh, uh, uh. 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 Hu Tao's too. Uh, uh, to die. 